Oh. 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 Howdy, okay. folks. How y'all doing? Your back a bit cheesy hey. for. Hey. I made it. Yeah, you down there. How you doing? Is everything How you right? doing? <laughs> So, um, I can't help it. With stuff like that, I have to in a weird way, don't I? You do know you have the walkie-talkie, right? But where's the fun in that? You can hear me just fine. Oh, okay. I actually have to talk. You, you can, can come, come up. up. So that's boring, isn't yes, it? Go ahead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I need to find something. What? In, in my backpack. What do you need to find? Yeah, I don't believe you. I don't trust you already. I yeah, you fine. Nap some more. Who wouldn't? I know you all too well. Although... I wouldn't want a nap in a boat. Especially on that kind of rhythm. Looks pretty nice. Nice and cozy. How are y'all doing, guys? This is well. Green Hell. Which yes, sounds yes. like a lovely game, the doesn't it? Through that canyon. <laughs> um, okay, can we get moving? Wow. Oh, this looks beautiful. This looks lovely. Uh, left or right? Left. I go left. Whoa. Sorry, the sensitivity for the mouse is ridiculous. I don't... Ooh, hello. How are you doing? Can I keep... Oh. Uh, i got to do walkie-talkie again. I don't want it. Oh, uh, have you tied down the boat? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, guys! So this is Green Hell, and I can't imagine where it got its name from. There's a lot of green. Not so much hell. Not yet, anyway. Um, but this is a survival horror game, okay? Now, this one's actually meant to be a horror game compared to Sonorca, which was just scary, frankly. Um, so I'm not sure how well I'm going to do on a game that's actually geared towards being horror. <laughs> uh, that's my... I don't know. Monster, I'm not sure if she's my... I think she's my wife. Hunt, get the campfire started, please. She's very bossy. Um, she also doesn't like talking very much. It might be the fact that I have a machete in my hand. I'm not sure. But she doesn't even like talking through the door. Um, there is that. Okay, she's not exactly the friendly... Oh, that's quite cool. I wonder if that has anything to do with it. Anything. I don't know. Um, but this is camp. This is base camp. And I'm not used to a game that has um, a radio. Like, so that... So I will give you anyway that has a radio. Um, but it's cool. The mechanics of this work quite nicely. Um, stuff like campfire and bits Looks and like pieces right. you actually have to Mia, construct properly. Um, it's not like um, survive arc survival or something like that when where I mentioned we seemed to be lacking some equipment. They do talk a lot, is the only uh, problem. Don't tell me. I don't have a machete. Yeah. I'll take all three, why not? I have no fire. <laughs> I don't need three machetes, but fine. Lighter, nor box of matches. I can uh, imagine what I've got to we, we ordered both. Did you check everywhere? I no, I checked and then didn't check everywhere. I don't like well, you. not the best start of the expedition. I'm not fond of her. I don't know why. I'm just not a fond. A fan. I'm not a fond. I'm not a fond. I'm not whatever a fond is, but whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, the crafting works quite nicely. This. So stuff like this, you... You set it down and then you build the parts around it. So you grab a load of sticks, you whack them on. You grab a load of small sticks, you whack them on. Um, crafting otherwise works quite nicely. So this is our little crafting menu. It's a rock. Um, although crafting, I don't know. Um, I need this. I need this, I think. Nope. Stick. Nope. Okay, well then can I do it with these two? Nope. Small sticks. Can I do it too? Oh, for love of God, what do I have to do for it then? I'm sure that's the recipe. Yeah, look, stick or plank. Are you really, are you going to be that pedantic about it? Because I didn't open the menu first. You're not going to let me, ah, oh, that's a pain in the ass. I will use a plank because it's huge. <coughs> <sighs> Sorry. My bad. Uh, right, hand drill, there we go. That's something. I need to find something dry. I've got something dry. I've got dry leaf. So what do I do? I do this and use. Beautiful. That's easy enough. Uh, and then I do this. Grab the leaves and protect them in there. So it's, it's quite a nice way of... You are very angry. He's very angry. He's swung quite a lot. Already, and I think it's, it's only getting it worse. It's a bad habit. It's not, it's not smart. It's not clever, mate. Just chill the fucking hell out. But yeah. Okie dokie, guys. So there is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of dialogue in this game. Um, great. 
I mean, ah. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, this is Dark Frog. Don't touch it. The deadliest amphibian on planet is completely harmless to the natives, thanks to was that Cambo ritual. South American. They extract the poison, then they puncture burned children's skin. What? Oh, the small doses of the poison to become a music. That makes more sense. That's fair enough. Okay, that's quite cool, I guess. Uh, look at my smartwatch. Ooh, very smartwatch. Yeah, so there's a few, there's a lot of mechanics in this game already, and I feel like I'm gonna get swept along in them. Um, I'm gonna get confused and bamboozled and all sorts of stuff with this game. But, um, north. Oh, it must be up there, right? We've got to be up there. You're not know, going to tug it first. I thought that's kind of... Is that not like we a normal thing? Am I might actually control it, I guess. Like, you tug the rope first, make sure it's secure, right? Surely. I don't know. All right, whatever. Um, yeah, so... I told you. I goddamn... I What's your language? Oh, God. Whoa. I mean, I know. I know I was supposed to not call, but a line snapped and I fell down a good 30 feet. Oh, you silly bugger. Just me, are you okay? <laughs> Just me, I like her. I'm not sure. <laughs> I kind of like, I'm not sure if I like her yet. Hold on. I'll walk away a bit so they can't hear you. I'll oh, just sort out yourself, you know mate. Ooh, harvest. Inspect, so hold, C. Sorry, yeah. Um, so there's a lot of mechanics in this game. Like, even this, there's just adding more to it. Um, okay... Oh, that's pretty bad. Wow. That's definitely not good. No, well done, Sherlock. That is definitely not good. I will call me here in a second. There's a lot of mechanics in this game. There's a lot going on in this game. There's a lot of dialogue. And I'm not 100% sure yet if this tutorial really carries on. Because having a face here already would seem like a very um, generous start to a survival game. Like, Because here, there is the solar power. There's energy. I have three machetes <laughs> for some reason. Four machetes, now five machetes. I have way too many machetes. <laughs> so, um, and I, I, it's just, I don't know. I feel like things are gonna go south very quick, very soon. Um, but yeah, there is a lot of dialogue. It's, I'm not 100% right. sure if it's all necessary Nothing's dialogue. broken. Um, just but it's just a lot bruises. going on with this. Nothing to worry about. But it is very beautiful. In the jungle, every scratch can be dangerous. Yes, they can. The mechanics scratch work quite well up. together, um, to but there is a lot of them. I think like, if you know, yeah, let's go with yes. I know yes, how to do it. I do. Mullinaria. Long, smooth, acute leaf, surrounded by yellow flowers. That's it. For that then. Okay, I'll go look for it. You should have it in your notepad. No, I see it. It's right here. I got it. It's fine. I've got it. Roger that. Over and out. Well, you don't have to go over and out. I've got. Ah, uh, fine. Whatever. I'll just get the one. Okay, create the bandage. Uh, how do I do that? Let's go with C, backpack, craft. I, li I like how all this works. This is really nice. Like, so you've got your inspect, which is your body. Your backpack has several slots in it. So these are your normal tools, um, extra inventory space for sticks and ropes, I'm guessing. Because that's the only thing I can think you hang on there. Your inner backpack for stones, little pieces, and whatever. And I like the fact that it's actually space related, which is very nice for a survival game. Um, food, which is on its own, which is great, and campfire pieces, which are, again are a separate piece, but I don't understand why, to be fair. They kind of probably should be in the same um, vein as whatever. But all I need is one leaf to craft bandage, so that's very nice. So then I go to my inspect, I imagine, in here, rotate it, and whack the bandage on it. Not too bad. It's not too bad at all. It's, it's a really nice game. It works really well so far, um, and I'm, I'm really enjoying it, actually. I'm, here I am. This is just a tutorial. I'm still nicely. learning quite a lot with it. Um, but it's, it's really nice. Yes, it hurts like a bitch. Uh, like hell. Aww, what does that mean? <laughs> I am hugging you now. Well, uh, no. Better? Not really, no. Uh, a bit better. Yes. So, how are you doing? <laughs> no! <laughs> I'll be in a few days. Alright, whatever. <laughs> Optimistic. I expect to be treated as one of their own. You sound like a very positive person. And, I should be able to and that's what we like here, right? We like positivity. Some All elders right. are opposed to this, though. Luckily, Chief Kuini is on Kuini. my side. Kuini! Awesome! Why are they opposed? <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I find it great. 
Chief Gorini. They were invited even before I joined them. The chief wanted to approach the World Health Alliance peacefully, but a few of the elders insisted on fighting. Okay, now, so the Bahuaca basically have two factions. That's the story, I'm guessing. We, maybe we Sounds are trying to me. reunite. Them? I don't know. Be careful. I'm not in any danger. Told you, I'm optimistic. Great. Well, that jumped ahead a lot. Jake, We're from day three, day thirty-two. Mia, I don't want to. Jake, wake the hell up, mate. Come on, mate. Jake, please. Yeah, I got you. Please answer me. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here, Mia. Mia? What happened? Mia, speak to me. Oh, come on, you were just there. Yeah. Do I hate that, right? When someone messages you. What the hell's going on over or there? Or calls you or whatever. And then you text back or call back straight away. And then they don't answer. <laughs> That's annoying as hell, right? <laughs> anyway, like, fine. Okay. I literally just sit that side. What's going on? That's the tribe? That's like an arena. Oh. Okay. What's going on? I mean, it doesn't sound so good. Ah, uh, dude. I thought it was a crocodile, sorry. Jump! 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 Whee! <laughs> okay. Now swim. Or, or bleed. One of the two. Swim or bleed. You're doing the second one very well. Okay! <laughs> um, is that it? I feel like that's the end of the tutorial. Alright, that is the end of Green Hell Tutorial. Okay, I'm gonna say this though, right? While it was giving me some idea of how bits of this game work, I, I feel like it's a bit unnecessary, to be fair with you. Like, they could have just said that some cinematic bit right at the beginning, it would have been great. But, I feel like I just have more questions than anything else at the end of it from all the dialogue. And also, the mechanics part of it, they. It didn't go into, I don't feel like it went into enough to warrant having a section called a tutorial before it. Like a lot of cyber games, they kind of just, you know, they throw you in, they leave you get used to it, they leave you how to figure things out for yourself. And this had that little notebook where it kind of told me what the survival aspects of this game were. It's a very good notebook, it really is. And the tutorial was lovely, the game is fantastic, I have no, I'm re, I have no doubt I'm going to really enjoy it. But I don't feel like the tutorial taught you enough to really warrant being in there. Like there are bits of it that I kind of started doing that it didn't tell me to do or tell me how to do it. Like you can harvest things that break off um, to find to make smaller components and whatever. It didn't tell me that. It just kind of I just did it. I was pressed the button wrong and I saw it. I clicked harvest and just whatever mess around with it. But that's the same thing as you would do it in a normal survival game. Anyway, you'd mess around and experiment with different tools and different whatevers. Um, but yeah, the game itself, it looks beautiful. It handles really well. There are a lot of mechanics, like I said, but I, like, if I can get a handle on all of them, I think the game will run fantastically for it. It's a lot in there though, and I'm not the brightest spark. <laughs> but I cannot wait to get into more of this game. I am going to end this one here though, guys. Tutorial is done. Next episode, we'll actually get into the proper game of Greenhouse. So I hope you're looking forward to that. I have been Big Cheesy, guys. Keep smiling out there, stay positive, Stay cheesy and make sure you are checking chat on that like button for me, sharing the channel as far as you see fit, and subscribing if you haven't already. I will catch you again very, very soon for some more Green Hell. Bye!